Hello students, uh, we're back with Physical Geography. This is gonna be number seven. Um, so this page right here says Physical Geography, Physical Geo number seven. Uh, we are looking still at latitude and longitude. So first thing you need to do um, is to look up the definitions of latitude and longitude. This is gonna be a much shorter video today. Um, uh, you're gonna take some of what you learned last lesson and then also what you're gonna learn this lesson and then you're going to be able to explain <clears throat> what or how you, in your own words, how you find um, the position of a place on a map or on a globe using latitude and longitude. Because first you need to define latitude. Remember, only use or only write down the definition pertaining to a globe or a map. Um, because there's various diff definitions for both latitude and longitude, I only, you, I only want you to use the one that pertains to the globe. You know what? And I'm actually going to look it up. So, I have Mr. Green here, the big green. Um, so, I'm going to look up latitude, right? Latitude. Latitude. There it is. All right. So, oh, perfect. If I look at the fourth definition, it says in geography, which we're doing, it says latitude in geography, the distance of any place on the globe north or south of the equator. Boston is situated in the 43rd degree of north latitude. So again, latitude tells me the distance from the equator either north or south. If I say 77 degrees north, it means it's north of the equator. If I say 15 degrees south, it means it's south of the equator. So when you're look when you're looking for a what do you say? When you're looking for a place and they give you the coordinates 63 degrees north, 17 degrees west. That means it's 66, 63 degrees north of the equator, and then here's my prime meridian, my prime meridian here, it's 17 degrees west of that location. So it's kind of like, um, how do you call it, plotting points, right? It's ex it, that's really what it is. It's plotting a point. You have your x-axis and you have your y-axis. And so we say north and south is going this way and then east and west is going this way. So I go north, or however many, and then this way, or I go north and this way, or I go south and this way, or south and this way. So that is, so latitude is the distance north or south of the equator. Now let's look at longitude. I just had you, longitude. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so definition number two for longitude says this, the distance of any place on the globe from another place eastward or westward or the distance of any place from a given meridian. Boston in Massachusetts is situated in the 71st degree longitude west from Greenwich. To be able to ascertain precisely the longitude of a ship at sea is a great um, desert uh, of navigation. I'm not sure what that means. Um, so, again, longitude and latitude. Longi latitude, you go either north or south. Latitude is measured in degrees and minutes. North or south. So, anytime you see 17 degrees north or 45 degrees south, that means north or south of the equator. And then, um, longitude, <clears throat> excuse me, Ah, sorry about that. Uh, so longitude, again, is there's an imaginary line. It goes through England, but it goes north-south. And then you can say either east of that or west of that. And it goes from 0 to 180 degrees. So anything, if I say 56 degrees west, it means you look at that and you go west. Or if I say 97 degrees east, I'm gonna go east. So that's how latitude and longitude work. And again, if you have if you have a detailed map um, or a detailed atlas, uh, which I think I have one ready to go though, can't remember. 
But if you have that, or if you look it up online, it's going to have those lines. And a very good map, or a very detailed map, one that especially, uh, I'm sorry, I've got something in my eye. One that's especially used for shipping, or on the sea, or for navigating, it's going to be pretty detailed. And you'll be able to find or pick out almost anything, or get close enough to be in a good area. So now, finding latitude and longitude on these cities down here. You're going to have to find the latitude and longitude for those cities. Um, I'm going to let you choose how to do that. So you can be as creative as you want. You can either, if you want to go look at a map, um, you can do that. If you want to look at a globe, you can do that. Um, or other ways. So I'll let you think up how can you find the latitude and longitude for these places. So Cairo, Egypt, London, England, Houston, Texas, good old Reedley, California, um, Calcutta, India, Beijing, China, Cape Town, South Africa, and Cebu, Philippines. Um, what do all or most of those places have in common? I have been to most of those places. I haven't been to Cairo, unfortunately. Um, I have not been to Beijing, and I have not been to Cape Town. So... Not yet, at least. But, so here's here's your directions again. So name and date, make sure you put that on there. Um, instructions, following along the video, and then find what is located at the following latitude and longitude. Um, so you're going to define latitude, define longitude, according to Webster's 1828. Make sure you're looking stuff up in Webster's 1828, not Webster's Miriam New 2018 Dictionary, but Webster's 1828 Dictionary. Then you're going to explain in your own words, I want to see how well you understand this, how to find a location using latitude and longitude. So if you're going to explain to someone, okay, this is how you use latitude and longitude to find someplace, I want you to do that in your own words using complete sentences, okay? So make sure you're doing that. Also, remember, write in cursive, okay? In cursive. And then it says... Find the latitude and longitude of the following cities. So, you need to find the latitude and longitude of those cities. Um, other than that, that be it for this week for physical geography. Um, make sure you're getting all your work done for this class and all of your other classes. Uh, you're spacing out your time, you're, you're able to work well. So if, again, if you have any questions, if you need anything answered, make sure to give me a call and have a good afternoon.